Models.com is the largest independent online fashion beauty store in the UK. Their website attracts over 5 million visitors a month and offers 20,000 different products with 1,000 new ones per week. The e-tailer targets the fashion conscious 16 to 34 years old in clothes and products from a range of national brands and its own private labels. ASOS do not have any direct competitors when it concerns clothing associated with celebrities. However, they do compete with four main clothing stores, Next, Mark & Spencer, New Look and Topshop. As the second biggest online fashion retailer behind Next, their sales rose by 104% in the year ending March 09. Their consensus profits were around £14 million, giving them an 80-90% to 90 increase year on year. Shoppers tightening their belts during the economic downturn are choosing to make their purchases online. Analysts say a migration of shoppers from the high street to online retail sites is down to people wanting to make a saving. Alan Clark is an economist at BNP Paribas. There has been a structural shift. We know that people look at the high street, find what they want, and then buy it cheaper on the internet. So the, the pure internet component of the uh, national statistics retail sales data has been doing very, very well. The company stocks more than 800 brands as well as its own brand and over 21,000 products. He says their positive prospects makes it an attractive investment. I think you need to look, rather than um, the individual businesses, you need to look at the consumer behaviour on the internet. And we need to start to understand that actually shopping an internet site you don't get the same feelings and emotions as you do to shopping a physical site. And actually, the person that tells me that they really enjoy shopping lots of different sites on the internet, <laughs> um, that would be a third. I've never heard that. Everybody says, actually, yes, I have my favourite shops, but, but shopping a whole vast array of them isn't something they enjoy doing. So I think you need to understand the consumer behaviour first. And if that is that they will shop a fewer number of bigger sites, well, then that's got to be the business strategy. So that's what ASOS is all about. It's saying, okay, well, can we, can we, 
take a corner of the market, and that corner is young, fast fashion. Um, what would the perfect store look like in that space? Well, it's going to be one where um, we're absolutely guiding them through the fashion space in terms of this kind of edited choice. What's, what should they be wearing? And what's the hot trend? Looking at the different price points. Yes, you can pay a bit more for that, but actually, if you've seen this one, which is similar to line but a bit cheaper, you know, absolutely giving it back. Um, keeping it really, really fresh because the whole thing about nowadays is sort of newness. It's always been in fashion, but the internet's taken that to a whole new level. And ASOS was putting about a thousand new products a week onto the site, and that would just increase as new formal brands come on board. Um, giving them the best experience we possibly can, so giving them what they order when they order it, and you know, exceeding expectation as opposed to under exceeding expectation. What do you think ASOS strengths are? Uh, well, for people like me who have a very busy day, it, I think it's really convenient to shop online because it saves you a lot of time. And I also like that ASOS allows me to look like a celebrity but at affordable prices. And whenever I have a question, they reply to me within the hour. And sometimes I regret what I bought or it just doesn't look good on me. And then I can send it back for free, so I really love that. Thank mm -hmm. you.